Central Decatur out in front now by 13 up on the board, 20 to 7. And we've still got three minutes to go here in our first quarter. I'm Dwayne Cook on Go SCC TV. Again, it takes a whole crew for us to bring you these broadcasts, and we are certainly glad to have all the help we can get. The one and only Jimmy Ott the second is running the show for us tonight as our director and lead producer. On our cameras, we've got Kaysen Deichley and Tanner Van Leuven. Short kick. Ball is loose on the side. I think it rolled out of bounds. Big hit as Bradley Snook had to come up again. A short kickoff. We've seen that several times now from Central Decatur. And Cardinal will have the football at their own 27-yard line, it appears. Our officials are conferring on some matter. I don't see any laundry out there on the field. But we've seen plenty of it here in this first quarter, that's for sure. Six penalties for Cardinal, two for Central Decatur. And certainly a lot of those have been warranted at the time. A lot of procedural, some unsportsmanlike stuff after the fact. You don't like to see those, certainly, but definitely will be a talking point for Coach Mason, I'm sure. Bradley Snook gets the handoff, and he's going nowhere. He fights forward, keeps those legs churning to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but he'll be dropped for a loss. In on the stop for the Central Decatur Cardinals were those DNs coming through. 75 for Central Decatur. Dean Layton, also Jeffrey Richards, the 6'2", 185-pound sophomore. Second and 11 for the Comets. Aside from the 73-yard scamper from Snook, which was a big response offensively after Central Decatur had gotten on the board, Cardinal hasn't been able to manufacture anything offensively. Kenny's going to roll out to his right. Lofts one up, and it will be broken up. Intended for Tatum Telfer there, stride for stride. Champ Walker from his linebacker spot. And another third and long coming up for Cardinal. Now this, again, an area that we were keeping an eye on tonight for the Comets. Last week in Bloomfield, they finished the ball game 2 of 10 on third down. Thus far tonight, 0 for 2, but they haven't been doing themselves any favors. They have not had very many third and manageable opportunities to this point. It'll be Snook and Van Veen that will split out to the near side of your screen. Van Veen wide and two receivers left for Kenny. Oh, and a hard count. Got Central Decatur to jump. The Cardinals are pointing the way of the Comets. Perhaps that they were drawn, but that sure appeared like number 75, Layton, jumped into that neutral zone. Our officials are at least having a conversation about it. And based on Jesse Hughes's reaction, at first I thought they were going to call it on Cardinal because he put his hands on his helmet, but now they will march it towards the Cardinal side of the field, Cardinal's side of the field. I have to differentiate that tonight with the Cardinal comments and the Central Decatur Cardinals. So a little bit more manageable. Instead of third and 11, it'll be third and seven here for the Comet offense. Keeps the playbook, playbook a little bit more open for Coach Mason. Johnson's not quite sure where to line up, and that will cause Coach Mason to have to burn his first time out as he'll bring his comments to the sideline in a two-possession game already and two minutes to go in the first quarter. I know it's early, but you can tell the Comet head man certainly understands how big this third down play is coming up. On third and seven, Kenny drops back. He finds Johnson. Chase has a step down the sideline. See you later. Touchdown, Comets. Another 70-plus yarder in the books, and that is a Tuba touchdown. Brought to you by Tuba Family Chiropractic. They can get you fixed up and live in a pain-free life. Well, timeout for Coach Mason, I would say, certainly paid off. Beautiful play call. We've talked all night about how aggressive Central Decatur's front is, as they have been all year. A lot of tackles for loss, a lot of sacks to this point, and Coach Mason uses that against the Cardinals. Kenny did just enough, and somehow Scribner did not block that extra point. I don't know how in the world he did not get that one in his paws, but nonetheless, it's good for the Cardinals. No doubt about uh, the Cardinal Comets, I should say. Great answer, and the first passing touchdown of the year for the Comets as they get back to within six of the Central Decatur Cardinals.